we got an Xbox announcement yesterday for Xbox Game Pass, but for most people out there, probably very underwhelming. I'm sure a lot of people were crying as they usually do, saying that there still hasn't been any big announcement, although we are January 11th and there's <laughs> this entire year to go where we already have seen confirmed games for the first six months of Xbox coming into Game Pass, which is an absolutely incredible slate. It's going to be a spectacular year if all of these games come out and if Xbox can deliver with a couple of exclusives with Starfield and Redfall and then anything else they want to be able to put out there. Forza Motorsport, you always forget about that one. Well, I always forget about that one because all I can think about is Starfield and Redfall right now. But it's going to be an incredible year of video games. So they put out their first Xbox Game Pass announcement, and it was Monster Hunter Rise, Persona 3 Portable, and Persona 4 Golden. Three games that we already knew were coming over to the service, which, again, leads people to being underwhelmed and still waiting for something big to come from Xbox. There is one thing, though, in that Game Pass announcement that they did leave as a little Easter egg at the bottom of the article, which means we're going to be getting more this month so don't worry it is coming it says we're just getting warmed up we'll be back soon with more games more perks and more news which coincides with what aaron greenberg tweeted out that there's exciting stuff to come and this week's going to have some announcements of some sort and that people should be pretty much looking forward to it now if they go through this entire week and don't give us anything more than this then i think that's just kind of a marketing gap from aaron greenberg's point but at the end of the day, still not a big, massive deal. People are probably listening to my last couple of videos and they're probably like, man, this guy just wants to continuously always be positive and not be outraged about anything that Xbox is doing as we sit here and wait for announcements. And I'm, I've already said my piece for 2022 and we've already seen confirmed games for Game Pass. It looks awesome. It looks really good. I'm playing games nonstop. There's always something for me to play. I'm not sitting there waiting for an announcement to get excited for video games. There's just games for me to play all the time. And this month, before the end of this month, we're going to have announcements. I mean, we saw the rumor about the showcase that's supposed to be coming January 25th. That alone should be really, really cool, especially if they do a deep dive into Redfall and the Forza Motorsport and Minecraft Legends, which are the rumored games. Maybe there'll be some other surprises there. No Starfield, but I think Starfield's going to have its own showcase a special direct for it because that is a special game. That's a game that everybody's looking forward to. It's going to be a generational RPG if they're able to deliver, which, I mean, it looks like, it sounds like from stuff that we've seen, stuff that we've heard, they are going to be able to deliver. But even here, uh, for my channel, for my video, I, I make videos pretty much every single day from Monday to Friday at the very least. And I love when there's a big announcement coming out. So I'm mean, looking forward to maybe there's going to be something today. Maybe there's going to be something tomorrow and I will definitely be talking about that. But besides that, there hasn't been really any news whatsoever that has been big, especially yesterday in the gaming news space. The only other thing that happened yesterday was Adam Sessler went on some unhinged rants on Twitter calling out gamers and calling them all of these types of names. If you remember the story of G4, how they tried to come back and utterly failed because they told people to pretty much stop watching and calling out people who were fans of their shows, which completely backfired. And then just overall, you think about G4 and you think about comparing that to YouTube and YouTube has completely phased out whatever G4 was trying to do. There's so many good YouTubers out there. There's so many channels that people would much rather watch than a rehashed TV show from the early 2000s that was really the only option people had to get their video game news on TV. If there's more competition, maybe even G4 on TV wouldn't have been as good. I watched it on TV. I actually really enjoyed G4 back in the day, but it was a product of having pretty much zero competition, at least in the United States. In Canada, we had reviews on the run, which was actually a pretty good show. I actually like that better than the G4 stuff. So that's all that's been happening in gaming. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I just want to make this quick video giving you that update on the Game Pass stuff. And we will continue to talk if anything else comes up.